Hey everyone, this is Craig with Slash Gear, and today we have the Samsung Ative Book 6. This is one of Samsung's newest laptops. It's a 15 inch model, uh, but what's unique about this one, uh, in my opinion, is the full size keyboard. You have a normal keyboard that you see on most laptops, but then you have a numpad over here, uh, which is great for uh, all those number folks out there who uh, need to type in numbers quickly. Uh, that's there for your convenience. Um, has a nice large uh, multi-touch trackpad. Um, it's plastic, not glass, so um, it's a little hard to get used to, uh, hard to navigate around at times. I find glass trackpads to be uh, a little more easier to use. Um, but either way, it's nice and big. Um, for a 15-inch laptop, it really feels like a 17-inch um, as far as size goes. Um, but you have this, this nice, uh, large widescreen display, full 1080p, HD, um, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I'm, I'm usually picky with uh, displays and clarity, um, but I was really happy with this one. Let me give you a, a quick tour of the outside and the ports you'll be working with. Um, well, as you can see, this top has a nice little uh, aluminum, brushed aluminum look to it, um, this dark blue. Let's see, uh, on the left side, you have uh, a bevy of options. Your power port, your ethernet port that uh, pulls down um, with a little uh, hinge right there. Uh, VGA, uh, full HDMI, uh, and then two uh, USB 3.0 ports, and then a, a microphone headphone combo jack. On the other side, uh, less options, but still not too bad. Uh, SD card slot, two more uh, USB ports, these are 2.0, and then you have your uh, laptop lock right there. Now, as far as software is concerned, uh, this runs Windows 8, uh, not really a big surprise there. Uh, there are, however, a lot of pre-installed apps um, that come with this laptop. A lot of Samsung branded apps as well as um, third-party apps. So we have S Player, S Gallery, S Camera. You also have uh, Samsung SideSync, which allows you to connect another Samsung device like a, a Galaxy S4 or another Galaxy uh, handset to the computer um, and transfer files in between the devices uh, without having to use you know, the cloud or, or uh, stuff like that. There are uh, third-party apps, however, that uh, might be useful to you. So we have Netflix, oops, which I just accidentally opened because this is a touchscreen. Um, Netflix, you have Skype, Kindle, um, Evernote, a lot of useful apps that you'll use. Um, but that's just something to be aware of. This entire block right here uh, is pre-installed apps that come on this laptop. So as far as... Uh, specs and price goes. Uh, this is this is almost a, a power user machine. It runs Intel Ivy Bridge uh, Core i7 quad core clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it has 8 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive. Um, the really the only downside is that it runs uh, Intel uh, integrated graphics uh, HD 4000. So not going to be able to do a lot of uh, hardcore gaming. Anything, anything like that, um, but it should be able to keep up with anything else that you're doing. Uh, as for price, um, this uh, retails for about $1,200. Uh, I did find it on Newegg for $1,100, so just a little over $1,000 for this laptop, which isn't bad. What I, on, uh, again, what I really like is the um, full 1080p display. It's really clear, really crisp, um, and the touchscreen definitely uh, doesn't hurt either. Um, again, this is the Samsung Ative Book 6, and you can check out the full review on SlashGear.com. Thanks.